Hello, I'm Lynn Ralston from Hillsborough County, Florida, and today's lesson is going to be on extended response in the reasoning through language arts portion of the 2014 GED test. Emergency, emergency, we are in a state of emergency. The new 2014 GED test wants students to write an extended response in the reasoning through language arts test. This has never happened before. We could have an epidemic on our hands as students everywhere show up in our classrooms looking for the ER room. You know, we must prepare for this type of emergency now so that we have the instruments, the knowledge, and the skills necessary to meet this challenge. So let's take a look into the ER bag for the skills and the instruments necessary to be effective. The first thing that we need is we need to find good complex reading materials that offer opposing points of view. Some different subjects might be school uniforms, mandatory drug testing, or junk food in the school's vending machines. You know, the ideas are endless. Find topics that uh, have the students look at two different opposing points of view. Next in the bag, we're going to look at different tools and techniques for gathering evidence from text. Okay, the first thing that we would want to do is to have a, a T-chart here, which is a graphic organizer, where the students can put opposing viewpoints, one on one side and one on the other. The other thing you would want to have your students do is you would want to have them number the text. Now, on the subject here of e-books versus traditional books, we might want to use some of our instruments, which would be highlighters and our post-it notes. In this case, I've chosen pink and green, okay? Great instruments to use. And what we can have our students do is to highlight the different points of evidence that they found in text. Now what you'll notice on here is that for the e-books, everything is highlighted in pink. And for traditional books, everything is highlighted in green so that a student would easily be able to pick out that information from the text. Then what we can have our students do, again, pink for ebooks and green for traditional as we can use the graphic organizer and we can list the items that we found from the text and we can put down such as um, better ebook is better for the environment yet a traditional book won't um, have a malfunction or break so after we have our students do this then we can have them compare the differ the different evidence another tool that we could be using here is taking again our t-chart and to have a group project in the classroom is that we can have the students use those post-it notes and you can have it on the board displayed and the students can write their pieces of evidence again using the two different color coded post-its and then they can go and bring it up onto the board and that way they can compare the different pieces of evidence from text. The last thing that we're going to be needing is going to be the rubric. On the GED test, there are three different rubrics. The first one is the creation of arguments and use of evidence. And this one tells on how well a test taker supports their position with well-chosen details. And it's worth two points. The next trait Trait two is on the development of ideas and organizational structure. And this tells how well a test taker states his ideas, how thoroughly he explains them, and how well he organizes them. And this is also worth two points. The third trait is on clarity and command of standard English conventions. And this tells how well a test taker follows standard English rules and how well he puts sentences together, which is also worth two points. Now remember, 
that these points are then doubled for a final score on the extended response for the Reasoning Through Language Arts module. So an example of that would be if a student gets four points total from the three different traits, you multiply those points to get a final score of eight for the eight points for the extended response. Now, it's important to note that extended response will be evaluated based on the textual evidence used to support the position chosen by the test taker. It is not, again I repeat, it is not about what the test taker believes, but rather what position is best supported by the evidence. So when we look at this ER room, where this is where our students are going to look to you for guidance and support. You, the professional, the doctor, the one who can listen to them and what ails them on the reasoning through the language arts test. Now is the time to teach students about extended responses by providing them with the skills, the instruments, and the knowledge to survive and thrive. Be determined to make this emergency a success. You know, I hope you enjoyed this Grab and Go segment. Please check the website for additional handouts and practice. Thank you for tuning in to these GED Grab and Goes. These video segments are designed to give you, our teachers, information and ideas that you may use in the classroom as you're preparing your students for the new test. Stay tuned because there's more coming your way.